vlogmas is finally here so i started my morning with some breakfast watching annie claxton here on youtube and yep demolished as always and i this year got myself a lint advent calendar chocolate one lint is such great chocolate so i'm basically opening door number one here and it came with this little ball <laughs> So I also have to do some commissions, some crochet baubles for my mum because she's going to give them to her work friends as a Christmas gift. So yeah, I've been making some of those and we're going to put them in these little boxes decorated with Christmas tissue paper and I go ahead and start making one in a second. So you'll see like a little speeded up kind of crochet ses session and I am using the Lily's Sugar and Cream yarn because that's the best yarn. <laughs> so yeah, I just speeded myself up here. It's quite satisfying to watch this. And that's how it turned out. And then it was day two because day one wasn't very eventful. <laughs> so yeah, day two, I open another door and this has to be one of my favorites, the little bears. I love the little bears and the reindeers and the big Santa and the big bear. And this morning it absolutely snowed so badly and it was freezing outside and today I decided to do some red velvet cupcakes with my mum so I'm basically filming this whole thing and before we get to the end I'm just gonna say they didn't turn out as red as I thought they were going to and that is because we did not use the correct food colouring that it said in the recipe it was jane patisserie's recipe and we just used like that food coloring coloring that you saw there and it kind of turned out like a maroon or a burnt sienna after we'd put the cocoa powder in so yeah <laughs> but it did turn out very very yummy so yeah we're getting the mix done here add in a little bit of extra ingredients mixing it up right away and then we put them inside the christmas buns or i can't remember what to call them the cupcake things they were like christmas flavored we put them in the oven for 20 minutes and this is how they came out the next thing we moved on to was the buttercream or fresh no buttercream cream icing cream frosting i can't remember and then we went for a walk in the snow which was very nice we come back, decorate the cakes, and this is what it looks like. They look brown, but don't worry, they're red, <laughs> and they was very yummy. Now we're moving on to the next day, and I did a bit of crocheting, and it came out like this. It's a Christmas pudding. I thought I'd show you how the tree came out. I didn't film any of that, like putting it together, because it was so stressful. Here are the little bobbles together. And then I sat down for the evening and watched The Great British Bake Off. <laughs> I'm not really sure which episode this was, but it was a Christmas one. I haven't watched this show since Mary left, but I've been trying to get back into it. This is just a little bit of wrapping that I did for the night. Then we'll move on to the evening where I was like coming up with some concepts of how I wanted to do Squala Box 99 prompt. I used the Viviva colours to get the background washes. I didn't use the pastels because, I don't know, it made a mess <laughs> on that page as you can see. Moving on, I had a blood test the next morning. Yay! Always fun to go to the doctors. Not. Here's a bit of the behind the scenes of later on in the day where I decided to film the next video, which was the scroll box video. Then once I'd finished it, I began to start working on the thumbnail for the video whilst I was listening to some Kid Leroy because I like his music. <laughs> now we're moving on to the next day and I started my morning how I spend every other morning. In fact, no, every morning with a green tea. Yep, bit of honey in it. Nothing wrong with a Halloween mug at this time of year. Should probably get a Christmas one. <laughs> But yeah, this is kind of like a short sort of vlogmas. I could do like real time vlogmas, but I don't know. Like the mic is really weird on my phone, so I'm not sure. 
so I was trialing this style of vlogmas, which is like recording little bits of things that I did, but then doing a voiceover. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like the quality of the voiceover is a lot better than the one on my phone. So yep, green tea's all ready. And then it's time to open the advent calendar for today. I can't remember which day it was. Was it six? I think it was number six. Yes. No. Day five. <laughs> I actually didn't film every single one of opening these calendars because it was a little bit boring. But anyway, I had a yogurt for breakfast. I've started trying to maybe eat more things that are good. So yogurts. <laughs> And then this is just a little bit of a process video or update of how I was doing on the last bauble I was making. This was a really hard colour changing thing and it did take me a while to get to it but I figured it out eventually. I then spent the rest of the evening watching the Bake Off again. <laughs> and then here is a clip of all the baubles finished, completed together and ready to be packaged up to send to my mum's work friends. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Comment which your favourite one is in the comments below. Then we're moving on to day six. Um, just another ball, I think. Yeah, a lint ball. And then we're moving on to Crocs because this day I was giving away the commission that I did. Here's me wearing them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm giving this to my auntie today, which is a crochet Vizsla bear. So my auntie's got a Vizsla dog and its name is Bear <laughs> and she commissioned me to make one for her, so, for, for her I guess, um, at Christmas and I took it there and here's a little picture of them both together. There they are, Bear meets Mini Bear. All right, so we've come to the end of Vlogmas week one. I know it was a bit of a short one but you know, <laughs> nothing really eventful kind of happened this week. Hopefully next week there will be. And yeah, I'm just sat here, hello, <laughs> editing week one of Vlogmas and I'm really hoping to get quite a few project projects done next week. So that should be fun. And maybe watch more Bake Off. <laughs> we did actually watch the Portrait Artist of the Year for this year. I think it was, it was the 10th anniversary and it was so good, it was amazing. The person who I wanted to win actually won it, but the problem was they put like the final commission thing at the end, like after and it had already been like 9 o'clock while 10 and well obviously it was getting late and um, too late for us and I usually like, oof, I get so so <laughs> tired, you know, at that time now. I'd love to apply for that, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not not good enough for it. But I'm hoping it's on catch up so me and mum can watch it. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this vlogmas. If you did, please give the little video a like. Comment down below whether you like the voiceover type of things or would you like real time talking video. <laughs> so I'll have to figure out the mic situation for my phone, which shouldn't be too bad now. And yeah, comment down below if you have a new day. I've got an oversized one, <laughs> so it drowns me. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time with an art video, and then probably next Thursday for week two. Okay, bye bye.